Now, the Chairman House of Representatives Ad Hoc Committee on International Boundary Dispute between Nigeria and Cameroon, Honorable Benny La, says there is the need to know the state of security at the nation's borders. Honorable La said this at an ongoing investigative hearing on the boundary dispute in Abuja. Now, Plus TV's Emmanuel Ehigine's report is presented for Mouse Studios. Following complaints by Nigerians living at the borders between Nigeria and Cameroon and the hardship encountered due to incessant incursion by terrorists and gendarmes from neighboring Cameroon over disputed territories, members of the House other Committee began investigation into more insight into the matter. Chairman of the committee says the hearing has become important since the communities in contention are Nigerians and the people are Nigerians. She says it is important to understand the role of the paramilitary and the military in ensuring the protection of citizens in the disputed area. We're here to find out what is the role of the military. What is the role of the military in safeguarding our borders? Because as we know, Nigerian borders, safeguarding the territorial waters in the, under the Constitution, lies under the purview of the Navy. And we must thank the Nigerian Navy for their support when we visited Cross River State and Danare uh, Axis. The Director General of the National Boundary Commission, Adamu Adaji, blames the disagreement in the disputed territories to lack of understanding of international laws by members of the affected communities. This, however, does not sit well with the representative of the aggrieved communities who sees the comments and actions of the commission as unpatriotic. Yes, like we said, we lost 33 villages to, in the, in the, in the, in the Lechad region because these are villages of, Niger of, of Nigerians. So if we were to go by the argument, we would have said no, they are Nigerians, they must be placed in Nigeria, so the boundary must be changed to enclose them in Nigeria. So that is not what Nigeria is all for. I don't know, Attorney General, whether you have ever asked this question, Rum CK, why is it not given to Nigeria? Why is it not become? And why do you, our people are protesting? Whether we are ceded to Cameroon or left in Nigeria, we are one tribe, I told you, we have one local government there. So we are not doing emotional beating here. We are neither complaining that we are having some challenges if we are relocated. But the issue is the territory that is given to Nigeria and, you, and the Miss Commission refused to demarcate to give to Nigeria. You have not complained. Then now you jump and begin to take Sina to give to Cameroon. This is where the problem arises. Members of the committee are also not satisfied with the response of the commission and the Attorney General's office as the suggested alternative means to resolving the dispute. There seems to be uh, maybe some doubt in the, the judgment because if you are using a watershed here and then you are coming and saying these people came down from the valley and now you are using the valley, then there must be some uh, interpretation issue. Is it not, is it out of place to go back to the International Court of Justice? We should try to be as patriotic, as patriotic as we can. Whether you are affected today or you are not affected by your decisions today. The thing that is lacking, the very basic ingredient that is lacking in this country is patriotism. I have not seen it enough. Present at the hearing are the Army, Air Force, Navy, NSCDC, Customs, Immigration, and the DSS. The committee is expected to submit its report to the House for further legislative action. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.